Hello and welcome to Infinity. Affinity Photo version 2 introduced the compound mask. So this is a, an exploration of what exactly it does. So we're going to start off, we're going to put this, this is any old picture by the way, it's, I've just got a spectrum. And go to the mask layer, pick a mask, just going to drag it to the top so you can, at the moment it's white, but if I paint it black it'll just poke a hole through everything below. So I'll go to a paintbrush and it's black and I've got opacity 100% and hardness 100% so when I paint on here I've got a nice big brush so that if I click on this here I will paint on this and then I'm going to put another brush uh, mask in here let's drag that up into there and I'll paint this over here so it overlaps and I'll call this one right and this one left so you can see what it is. And what I'll put above this here is I'm just going to paint a circle here. So above this here, so I can just literally go to the center of this one here, control shift and drag outwards here. This is just so we can see where it is. So I'm going to make that empty but include the stroke there of black one pixel circle around it. So that one's there. And then I can just take the move tool and control drag it and it'll take it to copy and put that over there. So I've got a couple of these. It's simply to show where the outlines of these masks are. So when we've got just two masks, they act sort of like one on top of the other. It's almost as if they're blended together where the black is combined. It's almost like a single one with two lots of black in it. But if I start now putting in a compound mask, so the mask layer here, compound mask, and this is up here. I didn't look up at where I was going to do it. I'm just going to drag it down into the here. It's no problem. And then I'll take the left and right shift click on that, drag those up into the compound mask. Now immediately you can see something happening here. And into the left of here, you've got these extra little controls in here. And if I click on that, I've got four things I can do. I can do add. And if you've seen there, add is where that overlap is. It's poked a hole. Subtract. And because it's the left-hand one doing the subtracting, you can see there it is simply keeps itself, but subtracts everything else where it overlaps. Intersect. That's the default, which are the same as we had before. And exclusive or, or XOR. And that is one or the other, but not the overlap area altogether. We can do things now by going to the left-hand mask there. If I control it with the control I, so it's, so it's inverted, now I've got this one, the circle is white, and this, this one here, the circle is black. So now I start to get different effects, which you can use. So here with the add, now I've got the left-hand one is, is kept and the right-hand one has got the, is the hole poked. If I do the subtract, now I've got that overlap again. If I intersect, I've just got the left hand one and XOR is I've got the left one and right one, but not where they both overlap. I can carry on with this game. Go down to the second one here, invert that. Now as a default here, which is actually from this top one here, the add, I've got both of them together and, and kept that, but excluded everything else. Subtracting, I've got the right one again, intersect, I've got that area where they both are, an exclusive or, or XOR is one and the other, but not them. So you can see the effects you start to have. We could even do further things on here, but I could put in yet another mask. So if I go down here to mask, and let's just drag this into here, and I will paint on that. So I'll go to the brush. I'll just paint something down here. So I've got that overlap. And I'll put a, another circle on here with an ellipse. And I can just go up here so it, it appears up here somewhere. And control shift and just get the approximate shape of that. Use the move tool to 
nudge it into shape place there we go and so these three ellipses here click and shift click to the bottom one then control G just to group them to so that they don't intrude now I've got the left one here I've got call this one the middle one which is the one in the middle here now I can start changing that one separately so now I start to get any complex layer here of this one and not this one and so on generally speaking with this it's easier to actually try stuff saying I want this and this experiment with them because there's you end up with fairly complex logic you end up by fiddling with them trying stuff you can invert them and you can change the four options you get by clicking that little blue piece there and you get just all kinds of different ways of selecting with com compound masks as you've got here you can do things like you can have subjects in there you have different parts i want a bit of this but not a bit of that there's lots that you can do with this but this shows you the kind of power of this particular mask anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching <laughs>